So I'm going to show you now how to tie the famous Shelby knot. The, the purpose of the Shelby knot is to tie a perfectly proportioned, nice size knot without taking up a lot of tie. I get this request all the time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go through that now. We have our stagehand, Ziegelviet B. Stunk, who is going to come over here and put the mirror right there on that table. Let me take the jacket off here for just a second. And I'm going to have to undo this tie. <clears throat> I can only do this in a mirror, by the way, so I'm going to take this microphone and clip it on the shirt underneath. We'll undo the tie. Taking great care, ladies and gentlemen, to make sure the tie does not come in touch with the microphone so that it makes noise. What you do is you cross the sections of the tie, the large, long section of the tie underneath the short section. And the way I judge the length is to get about five inches below the waist. These ties, by the way, I should tell you, are three inches longer than normal, so they will fit big guys as me. <laughs> well, we get a lot of questions about this. When are you going to make a big and tall men's version? This is it. It one size fits all. We've taken that into account. You simply do this. You take the long side, you bring it up, and loop it through as such. Then you cross it over, and there you have the, the, the knots right there. It's a perfectly formed knot. All three sides are absolutely perfectly shaped. You then bring it through as you would any other knot, bring it down, put a little cleft in it as I do, take the knot and bring it down, emphasize the cleft, bring it up, voila, and you simply put it through the gold chain that we have next to our ties, and there it is, ladies. <laughs> Thanks, Ziggleby. Appreciate it.